Wait, everyone's Georgia Clark joins us live now in the studio. And Georgia, you spoke exclusively with a Huntsville native who now lives in Maui. Tell us what it's been like for her. Well, Dan, I spoke with Cara Griffin, who is a native to Huntsville, and she has moved to Maui in 2018 and absolutely loves Maui and the spirit of Aloha. Griffin lives about a mile from the upcountry fires in Maui, and at one point she could see the flames from her home. After this awful week, she says it's every day you wake up to hear someone else you know or love has passed away or is missing or has lost their home. With so much chaos and relief efforts happening on the island, Griffin suggests that now is not the time to be visiting the island. Right now, I don't think it's a good time to travel here and have kind of your your beach vacation. Um, all the places that are here and the hotels that are here, like the families who have no homes, they need those rooms or the people that are coming to support us from the military and from the government and Red Cross, like they also need a place to stay. Seven of Griffin's friends in the Maui Surfer Girls group have lost everything in the fires. And these women are just a portion of the devastation seen over the past weekend, over the past week on the island. Griffin says the entire island has rallied around these communities and that there isn't a person on the island who isn't affected by these fires. Now we have links on our website, waytv.com, where you can donate to the people devastated by the fires. Some of these links are charities, others are links to spreadsheets with families who you can directly donate to. Georgia Clark reporting live in studio.